Hello Explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about Doom 3 of all games. Ta -da! And Doom 3 is very interesting because it has come, been done and then they did a remake which was called the BFG edition which had a much better graphics. It was very much improved. Uh, the sound quality was a little bit improved as well and you will see during my talking here some uh, images from the the differences between the original game and this BFG edition and when they created this edition they improved the graphics a lot but we could do an even better job because the uh, lighting in that game was very primitive. They were still using the old engine that they wrote the original game in. So it was mostly the assets that got better uh, or improved. Uh, so they, they had better, um, better, better textures and all more highly resolution uh, textures and better uh, sound. But there is a guy on the internet called uh, Robert Beckbands, I believe, Beckbands, uh, that together with a bunch of other developers has created an even better version. Uh, so if we transition over to my screen here, here I have a little bit of an install script. I've taken most of it from his GitHub repository as a description. But I also have done some changes to my, myself because I found that there were some inconsistencies in the install script. I'm running Ubuntu at the moment, so th this is working on my machine. Uh, if you're running Windows, there is uh, instructions for that as well. But in order to do this, first off, you need to have the actual game. And either you have Steam, so you can download it there. You could get it from good old games. Um, in this case, I try this Steam command. You can install that on Ubuntu and install things like just a regular command. So I, uh, if, if after I've installed this, I can run Steam command with the Steam command force platform type Windows, and then I force the install there to uh, my home directory and this directory here, B Doom BFG. Uh, you could have whatever directory you want there, but I had to have the absolute path. Relative paths didn't work at all. Uh, I don't know where the actual install ended up, but it did the install, but I couldn't find it afterwards. Then I had to add the login user. You, of course, you need to own the game so you can download it. And I have already bought the whole ID collections. So I have all the games. Um, then we do an up update, um, up update with the ID of the actual game and validate it and then quit. So now I have the game files here. Then I want to download the DXC, the DirectX compiler artifact from Microsoft. And when I got that down, I could pack, uh, unpack that to a directory and then put that into my path, the bin directory. Then I needed to a bunch of uh, library, so I needed CMake, of course, to do the actual building, and I did, needed the SDL library, one uh, library for visuals, OpenAL, the AV codec, the AV, uh, AV format, and AV utils, and then S uh, software scale or SV scale. And then I also wanted to have the Vulkan tools, of course, the uh, Vulkan dev and validation layers them and spirit v so those were in order to get the vulcan working because it is will have shaders and so on written in vulcan and the new engine actually works with with vulcan and newer um, technologies so then i downloaded his git repository i went into git repository to a directory called nemo and then did a cmake linux release uh, so I created the build directory and in the build directory I just ran make. That will create our binary so we can actually play the game. And here we will see some footage from the game together with the old BFG edition so you can compare them. And the improvements here is of course it uses a new engine, it has better lighting, 
they, it's still the same assets, so there should be no difference there. But this dynamic uh, lighting and also um, some better anti-aliasing should give a little bit more prime look to the game. I can also say that this game is more stable on Linux, <laughs> believe it or not. If I ran the old BFG edition, first off, it could not run on Linux without having a very specific version of the uh, Proton Library. I needed to have the version 5 of Proton Library or else it wouldn't start at all. I couldn't change the volume of the sound because the game just crashed when I ran it like that, which is of course not a great experience. Uh, but at least it ran, it could give me some footage, but uh, yeah, I actually uh, like the improved version much more. It uh, is harder to start and it can have some problems with uh, the um, size of your screen. So I had to remove my configuration files and then set the screen size again in order to run it. Doesn't really matter for me, but it is a little bit more hassle to run it that way, but I think it looks very much improved. So when we have built this um, library, we need to copy the built uh, uh, file uh, over to a new directory. So if we switch over to my screen here, we can see that I have a bunch of directories here. First off, I have this Doom directory where I put everything in and we can see that we have a bunch of file here. There is the binary that we built. And I also copied over pretty much all everything that was in the Git repository. So I had all the files there. Not necessary. You need the binary and you need the base directory. And then from the Doom BFG3, where we downloaded the actual game, we need to take the base directory from there as well. It contains all the game assets, all the maps, all the textures and everything like that, all the videos that will be shown. So if you copy that over to this directory, then when you run this uh, RB Doom 3 BFG, you will get into the game and can start playing. So that was pretty much what I wanted to show you today. I hope that you found this interesting. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.